Continue to be focused inward and noticing the energetic connection between the center palm points, the human gates of the body. And if you don't notice anything, it's still there. And starting to slow your breath. Feeling your energy sink each time you exhale. And allowing your hands to drift down and rest in your lap. Okay, got to get somebody here. Everybody has their, oh, there we go. I got to have a, a view where I can see some of you. Okay, so welcome to today's special uh, tapping and healing sounds practice. And thank you to the friends of the Coscob Library and the Wainwright House and for bringing today's class to you. And thank you, especially to Laura. Matthews for providing our tech support. So as uh, for those of you who weren't here Monday night, we're gonna be doing our regular practice, our tapping practice, but we're also gonna be adding in a few practices from a very ancient system called the Eight Pieces of Brocade, uh, named after brocade being the finest cloth available in China at that time. And, uh, that's a metaphor for this beautiful garment uh, that we are creating to support uh, and renew and rejuvenate the body. Uh, so we, um, I'll let you know, I'll give you a little introduction each time we are doing one of these new things, but basically this was developed a thousand years ago to uh, help the martial artists and the soldiers who trained in the very severe conditions uh, in the mountains of China. Sort of like where we find ourselves today here on the East Coast. And um, these are very powerful practices and some of them will seem very strange to you, but as you know, uh, the most important thing about this class is to be playful and to be open and imaginative and it will help us all feel and look uh, five years younger and one inch taller, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we started out with our uh, Laogong points, but since we're doing this tapping, let's just uh, do this one more time for anybody who wasn't there, just moving the hands together. And I'll tell you something, you know, we back and forth, I previewed my video from Monday and I think I had been sort of sitting work, doing indoor work and studying all day before the class. And I could see uh, several years ago, I must have had a little mini stroke or something like that. So I have a little teeny bit of facial paralysis that um, was very evident when the recording started. And after we had done the Qigong facial, you couldn't see it anymore. So just to let you know, there are there are short term benefits. Okay, so we're going to start with the facial. And so all the time that we do this, uh, just remember to keep your focus inward, place your attention on the part of the body that we're working on or any healing intention that you have for the class. And we just do our long, slow, deep breathing in and out through the nose. Okay, so for the facial, we start and we just move the Fingers up the sides of the nose, not touching the skin, out along the forehead, down the chin. And now lower your head and smooth all the way to the back of the neck. And just repeat that. Long, slow, deep belly breathing, gently in and out. As you continue to move the hands in this pattern, 
and visualizing this powerful energy from your hands seeping into the skin of your face. Visualize your skin smoothing out, plumping up, very healthy. And smiling. So we generally do this nine times, this particular one. You really want to see effects, you do it every day. Two more times. Okay, and letting your hands come down and noticing. Now we move into the scalp and we're gonna use our fingers like uh, energy laser beams. And we're gonna send energy into the scalp and also deep down into the brain. So we start with going along the center line. So really scraping your nails, the tops of your fingers across the scalp, all the way to the nape of the neck. And now we move out just a little bit to the side and continue on down. And we move down a little bit more, working our way down towards the ears. And continuing that long, deep belly breathing. And now we go on that same path, just above the ears, all the way to the nape. And then up a little. And feeling those energetic beams penetrating deep into the scalp. And back down the center line. And out a little. And back up. And a little further up. A little further up. And back to the center line. Okay, so this is a medical Qigong used for any conditions of the head. Okay, and so our first of the eight pieces of brocade, we're going to bite the teeth together like this and making a noise. We're gonna do that 24 times. And the uh, now we know modern science has shown through research that this biting sound actually stimulates the stem cells in the little uh, sutures of the skull and gives the signal for your body to produce bone. Uh, so let's do that together 24 times. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Also, if you do this when you first wake up while you're still sitting in bed, uh, it wakes you up. <laughs> Added bonus. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're going to move on to the ears. So the ears are one part of the body that are the gateway, a gateway to the kidneys, which are very important, especially in the winter for water balance, deep immunity, skeletal health, um, sexual health, a lot of, lot of things. So um, we're, we're gonna start just by uh, rubbing our ear, ears, okay? So just first of all, rubbing just on the outsides of your ears, just pinching this skin together. So the part along the outside of the ears are amongst other things called the triple warmer points. 
and they're a great way to warm up. We're going to do another little thing in a minute for with the ears, but and then you can also just move down inside the ear, uh, mashing the ear together. All the little crevices and protuberances are connected to organs and joints and parts of the body. So nice ear massage uh, can really do a lot for your entire body. Okay, and then now let's do the other way. This is the one we don't do at night is we rub the ears, vigorously rubbing. Okay, and then lastly, putting the little fingers into the ears, ear opening and just massage, making a little circle stimulating that whole area and a little protuberance there, the entry to the ear and circle back the other way. Okay, and now taking the, the ears between the middle finger and the index finger and just rubbing up and down. So the bony, uh, semicircle bone behind your ears is very connected to the spine. So this is giving yourself a little spine massage. And as these are gateways to the ears, okay, releasing. Uh, this is great for overall balance, water balance in the body, moisture, shiny hair, moist skin. So if you did one thing every day, this, this might be it <laughs> if you need that kind of uh, balance. Okay, so now the uh, second of the uh, eight pieces of brocade that we're gonna do today is uh, involves the neck and also this kind of breathing that we've been working on for the last six weeks where we breathe in through the nose, letting the belly expand, pause briefly, like three seconds, and then exhale through the nose and pause at the end of the exhale at the same time. So one of the parts of the body that's incredibly important uh, for overall health is the neck area. We have four uh, arteries that come up through here, as well as the vagus nerve that connects the brain and the central nervous system to um, all organs and tissues in the body. Okay, so this is just called swinging the head. So take an inhaling breath in through the nose and just gently turn your head to the right as you exhale. Hold and just sit up straight and look towards the back. And now inhale as you turn gently back towards the front. Exhale, turning to the right. Sit up straight, lift your chin and eyes look to the back, pause. And inhale back to the front. And again, exhale. Sit up straight, pause, eyes to the back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale. Pause, inhale. And exhale. Look. Inhale back to the center. Pause. Exhale. Stretch and look. Inhale, back to the center. So in the eight pieces of brocade practice, that is so important that they uh, encourage you to work up to 24 times. But it's very important to do it slowly and deliberately like we did to get the most um, powerful effect. 
Okay, so, and now um, maybe uh, one of the funniest <laughs> and weirdest parts of this, uh, but is also a type of facial, uh, very good for the facial muscles, but also very good for stimulating saliva production in the body and saliva is now known to be um, alkalinizing. So getting rid of acidity in the body and also very powerful for digesting your food well, but also transporting energy in the body. So um, uh, this is kind of hard when you first started, we're gonna take the tongue and we're gonna, we're gonna rub the tops of our teeth top and bottom nine times, and then we're gonna reverse it and do it another time, nine times. And when we finish it, we're just gonna let the saliva accumulate in your mouth. I, I like to sort of lift my tongue and let it accumulate under the tongue, and then just gently swallow a little bit, visualize it going all the way down to your lower abdomen, where the body's vitality center is, the lower dantian, and then Take another little swallow, visualize it going down and another little swallow. And that's it. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> I forgot. Once the saliva accumulates before you swallow it, we swish it 36 times. That's also very beneficial for all the tissues of the face like this. <laughs> okay. You're not on camera. Just remember that. Only me. <laughs> all right. So let's go nine times. If you can't do it nine, don't worry. Do it as many as you can. Okay, now back the other way. Okay, now keep your lips together and notice the saliva starting to pour into your mouth. The more you do this, the, the quicker this will happen. Let it accumulate. And now swish 36 times. Get crazy. <laughs> Okay, now one swallow. Visualize it going all the way down below your navel. Take another swallow. Sit up straight. And now swallow the rest. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> You're gonna love this, I know, just practice it. <laughs> okay, woof, I'm getting hot now. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna stimulate the uh, T1, C7 area. If we, if we can reach that with both hands, if not, you can use one hand or you can tap on the front here if, you, if that's, if you can't reach the back, okay? So 36 times nice and firmly. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Okay, releasing your hands. So that's really opening all the channels to the arms and hands. And now we're going to just interlock, interlace our fingers, and just sit up straight. Kind of poke your tailbone out if you can. If you're on a chair, sit at the edge of the chair and just do a little stretch. Chin tucked down and just stretch a little bit and we're gonna settle our energy with the haw, haw sound. Okay, so inhale, stretch up and haw. 
sending the energy into the ground. Let's do that again. Interlace the fingers. Stretch up. Chin tucked. And release it. Sending anything you don't need into the earth. Letting it go in again. And release it. Great way to settle your mind at the end of the day or anytime you're feeling agitated. Just using that Sanjiao sound. Okay, now we're gonna tap out the arms and shoulders. So lean your head over and start tapping on the top of the shoulders. And today we're gonna to go in the opposite direction as usual. We're gonna go down the tops of the arms, over the fingers and up the inner arms, stimulating all of those meridian lines that go in down through the arms and hands and fingers and giving a smile to your arms appreciating your arms and hands all they do for you and now underneath the collarbones and the other side under the collarbones and up on the shoulder Leaning your neck over a little bit, just noticing any points of tension as you go down your arm. Those are points saying I need more tapping <laughs> later. You could do that after lunch. Down the outside. You're just giving yourself a pat. Good boy. Good girl. Okay, all right. And now we're gonna do our important Dabal point on the uh, underarm. So that's 36 times. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So visualizing, letting your attention stay in this whole heart center, and visualizing that opening up and circulating. So again, to the other side. Six. Okay. All right. And now we're just going to settle the the energy of the whole uh, front of the body. And if you want to visualize, if you're in more of the advanced level of this class, if you want to visualize that energy coming up the back, over the head, and then down the front and passing underneath the perineum, that's called the small heavenly circuit. So. Uh, Let's just uh, inhale the hands up. Visualizing that energy coming up the back and then making a heart or a triangle and bringing that energy down the front. So the hands are off the body. Inhale up. Settling that emotional energy, that digestive energy. Bringing it out of the head and the upper body. So inhaling as your hands come up. And exhaling as they float down. And two more. Mm 
Okay. Okay. And so um, I didn't tell you, but you already know how to do one of the eight pieces of brocade. That's what we've been working on with our kidney energy the last couple of weeks. And that's the one where we rub our hands together as we inhale, then we hold the breath. And then after we hold, we start to make little circles as we slowly let that breath exhale out. And we, we move our hands towards the spine. So that is to stimulate and consolidate the kidney energy. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start warming up the hands and inhaling deeply. And exhale. And once again, inhale deeply. Hold your breath as you continue to rub. And now place the hands on the back and start to make the circle and slowly let that breath out. Out through the nose. And hold your hands there. And just take a reverse breathing, breathe into your palms, letting that flow back expand. And exhaling, sending that energy into the kidney adrenal area. <clears throat> the door of life. Okay, and let's do it again. Inhale. Hold your breath. And now slowly exhale. Try to do five counts if you can. And now regular breathing, hold. Breathe into the low back, expanding, and now exhale, sending that energy into the low back kidney area. Releasing one more time. Inhale, just take an inhaling, relaxing breath. In case you're getting out of breath, I am. Okay, one more time, inhale. Hold your breath. And now slowly exhale, rotating towards the spine. And now inhale, keeping the hands there. Exhale, feeling that energy penetrating deep into the kidney organ system. And releasing the hands, relaxing your shoulders, sitting up straight. And notice, notice that warmth, that vitality in your hands and in the low back area. Okay, that's one of my favorites for the winter, <laughs> I have to say. All right, so we move down to the lower part of the body. So we're gonna start off with our kinky, kinky Qigong. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with this, hitting this jumping circle right here in the middle of the glute. We're gonna use a fist. So 36 times, nice and firm. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. I never thought about this as the tradition of spanking children on that point. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that. Okay, <laughs> maybe your parents didn't spank you, but mine did. <laughs> okay, up and down, sides of the legs. And now switching over to the other side, 36 times. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. And now up and down.
Okay, any play, noticing any tension, any tenderness, that's places you need to be paying attention to in your tapping tomorrow when you're starting your 100 day calm. Okay, so now we're gonna open up these claw points. So right at the groin, right where the leg and the abdomen meet. So these are also referred to as the leg gates and very important for circulation to the legs. Um, everything having to do with the legs. We wanna keep this area open. And when we sit a lot, this area gets uh, clogged up. Okay, so now we're gonna go down the inside of the leg, close to the top and back, close to the top of the leg. Then we move down a little bit more towards that middle and back and then a little bit more down towards the bottom. All right, good. And next we're gonna to go to the knees. So just placing your hands on your knees, sitting up nice and straight, back of the neck slightly lifted, shoulder blades are down and back. And focusing your attention on the knees and your hands are in uh, like a cup, so this is a very powerful position with the fingers kind of together and softly, gently curved. And visualizing your knees, visualizing this powerful energy, sending rejuvenation, repair, relief. Might even want to visualize your knees just glowing with this warmth and circulation. And now start to make little circles. Just your hands are lightly on top of the clothing, moving that chi, that bioenergy. Stimulating the touch receptors. And continuing your long, slow, deep breathing, your inward focus. Now rotating the hands back in the opposite direction. And once again, just allowing your hands to rest, sending that energy, sending your intention into that area, noticing any difference after you've done the circles, any tingling. Okay, and the last two most important points, uh, part of our longevity tapping points, we have the stomach 36, which is just four finger widths down from the bottom of the kneecap and out to the side. So doesn't matter, don't have to be that exact, but we're basically on the sides of the leg and just a little bit below the knee. So we're gonna karate chop this area together 36 times for increased, energy in the body. They call this leg three mile because you could run three miles after you do this in theory. <laughs> Depends on how old you are. And also very, very good for digestion. Okay, and for our last point, uh, I invite you to slip off your shoes if you like, even though uh, you can do this with your shoes on, but better, better without, in my opinion. So we're gonna be working on the kidney one point. So these are known of as the earthly gates of the body. Uh, these are the gates through which we draw a powerful supportive energy from the earth. And so the kidney one is, right at the bottom of the ball of the foot, right in the center. So if you can put your 
one leg on top of the other. And if you can't reach down to your feet and do this, just visualize that you're doing it. Okay, so we're gonna sandwich the ball of the foot between the hands, holding the, uh, so let's start by just rubbing that area, bringing some heat into the area. If your shoes are on and you can't do this, just hold your hands like that and send the energy in. Okay, and now flex your foot a little bit and keep your hand on the top. And now we're gonna hit 36 times. Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. So continuing to hold your foot. Close your eyes and inhale deeply, feeling the low back expand. So we're doing this reverse breathing. And imagine that that energy is moving up through the inside of your leg, through your lower abdomen and into the kidneys. And as you exhale, just visualize that energy circulating in that area. And if you like, you can use the color for the kidney organ system blue. Blue to dark blue to back. black. And again, inhale, feeling the low back expand, exhale, circulate that energy in the kidney area. And inhale that energy up the inner leg. Exhale, circulate. One more time. And exhale. So as we mentioned before, the, the feet are the gateway to the kidneys as well. So when we're hitting on the foot, just imagine this one side, this is one side of the drum and the other side of the drum is your kidneys in the back. So we're doing the other side now, first of all, rubbing the feet. Yeah, and smiling to your feet. Hey, what do our feet do for us? And now flexing the foot a little, holding the top of the foot and 36 taps. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, and now inhale that energy up the leg into the low back, and exhale, circulate the energy, and again inhale. And exhale, circulate. Last time, inhale. And circulate. And releasing your feet. Okay, so there we have it. Tapping head to toe. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to move on to our healing sounds practice. So as I mentioned before, if you've never done this before and you don't have the sheet, it doesn't matter. So we do our healing sounds. There are three sounds for each of the major organ systems in the body. And we've, I've just talked about a bunch of them during the practice. And this is kind of a way to um, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually reset. Um, these organ systems. And if you have the handout for me and you look on page two, you'll see that all of the systems are related to each other and they all are either transformative, supportive, nourishing. Um, so they're all really, uh, just because we're in the kidney winter system right now, doesn't mean that we don't need to really take care of all these other aspects of the body. Um, to hopefully be 
more imbalance when we leave here. So don't, uh, don't be shy about making the sounds. It doesn't matter what tone you use. Um, all that matters is that you are using your intention to focus on these different parts of the body and um, allow the healing to happen because your body knows what it needs. Um, the body gravitates towards balance. The nature of energy is that it wants to move. It needs to move. And uh, really all you need to do is allow it. So we're going to be using a little bit of acupressure. Um, I practice a type of acupressure called Jin Shin Jin Jitsu. And uh, so for each of the organ systems, we will just be gently holding a finger that corresponds to the emotion of uh, that system. So to see if we can just balance that emotion, bring in more where we don't have enough and get rid of some if we have uh, excess. So we start with the heart because the heart is said in Qigong to house the body's spirit. And uh, as everyone knows, if a person loses their spirit, um, the rest of the body doesn't want to go along either <laughs> in this life. So the heart um, is associated with the little finger. Uh, the sister organ is the small intestine, heart and small intestine. So we just hold this little finger and allow your hands to be comfortable in your lap. And the excess emotion associated with the heart is pretense. Uh, trying, 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 doing, doing, doing smiling on the outside and crying on the inside. Uh, so, and the color is uh, pink or red. Okay, so the first sound for the heart system is shin. And it sounds like this, shin. Okay, so we're gonna do that together. Inhale. Shin. And notice we hold that N sound and let it resonate. And again, inhale. Shame. Inhale. And keeping your eyes closed, just let your attention stay in that heart area. Noticing any physical sensations, any emotions thoughts, just acknowledging. And the second sound for the heart is xiao. Okay, so inhale. Xiao. Inhale. Shia. And again. Shia. Letting your attention rest in the heart area. Noticing. And the third sound is the same as the first sound. And the third sound, we just do a little more quietly and a little shorter. So inhale. Shin. 
inhale. Shame. Inhale. Shame. Just paying attention to your heart center. Picturing the color pink or red, if you like. Looking below the pretense. Okay, and the second set of sounds is the kidney system <clears throat> and the Finger associated with the kidney and <clears throat> gallbladder, uh, sorry, uh, kidney and bladder uh, system is the index finger. And the uh, excess emotion is fear. So we're just gonna gently hold your index finger. And the first sound of the kidney system is a percussive sound like this. <clears throat> and when we do it, we, we pop our lower abdomen and our rib cage together. So we're making this actual physical uh, stimulation of this kidney area. So we're gonna do that 18 times. Okay, here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Two more. Ooh. Ooh. And noticing that low back area, the lower abdominal area. Bringing in the color blue or black. And the second sound for the kidney system is ooh. Okay, so inhaling. Ooh. Inhaling. Inhaling. And allowing your mind to stay in that kidney area. And if you run out of breath during the sounds, just take a little sipping breaths. The hold is too long. Let the hold go. And come back in when it's comfortable. And the third sound, a little softer, a little shorter, is ying. Okay, inhaling. Inhaling. Inhaling.
Just letting your mind rest in that area. Embracing and accepting all sensations and feelings. Or simply just being. So the third set of sounds is the stomach, spleen, pancreas, and the finger associated with this system is the thumb uh, on a manifested level, and the color is yellow. And the emotion in excess is worry, probably why young children suck their thumbs a lot. Right, so the first sound for the stomach system is gong. So inhaling together. Gong. Inhale. And inhale. Gone. Noticing anything that comes up for you as you allow your attention to rest in that middle rib cage, left area of your body. Bringing in the color yellow, if you like. And the second sound is foo. So inhale. Noticing. Embracing trust, satisfaction, security. And the third sound for this system is Song, T-Z-O-N-G, inhale, song, inhale, song, Inhale. So. And allowing your mind to stay in that area, the lower left rib cage center, middle of the body.
And the fourth set of sounds is connected to the liver and gallbladder organ system. The uh, emotion out of balance or that can bring the liver system out of balance is that of anger. And third middle finger <laughs> is our finger associated with this uh, system. So just gently, lovingly holding that middle finger, allowing your fingers to wrap around that. Also connected with our breathing. So help you to breathe. And that's why breathing is also has the ability to diffuse anger if you allow yourself to breathe. Okay, so the liver is on the right side of the body, a large uh, covering that whole right side and back. And we're going to start out with a percussive sound. So the first sound is like this. And once again, we are physically popping that, that area as we make that toot sound. I'm going to do that 18 times. So ready? Together. Toot. 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 Two more, two, two. And allowing your mind to go to that area of your body and simply pay attention where the mind goes, energy flows, bringing in the color green if you like. Bringing in patience, quiet courage, and the second sound for the liver and gallbladder system is ju. Inhale, ju. stay in that area. If you have trouble having your mind stay there, just focus on your breathing. And the last of the sounds, a little quieter, softer, is ling. So inhaling. being with that part of your body. Bringing in kindness.
And the last set of sounds for today is the lungs and lung and large intestine, both taking in the air and the nutrients that we need and letting go of anything that the body no longer needs. And the finger associated with this system is the ring finger, the wedding band finger. Did I say that? <laughs> and the emotion is excess sadness, grief. Uh, but uh, in uh, a good sense, compassion, knowing. Okay, so, and the color is white. So the first sound uh, is song. And uh, but we're we're wanting to release sadness, release grief. Sometimes you have a deep, deep uh, leftover sadness or a pervasive sadness during these times. And uh, so we're going to make that song sound like this, like a whale song. So we can get silly here. Uh, <laughs> as I say, you're not being recorded, so be happy. All right. So together, inhale. Song. Inhale. Song. And again. And just allowing your attention to be in that lung, upper respiratory area, or the lower digestive area. Circulating that color white. And noticing. And the second sound for the lungs is the percussive sound. We're only going to do it nine times because it has two parts. And we talked about saliva being anti-inflammatory and healing to the body early, earlier in our tapping part. And uh, this is also a saliva thing. So we make a zzz sound, zzz, and then we suck in any saliva that is made from that like this. Zzz. And you're sucking in as if you're sucking on a straw in a very thick milkshake, okay? So as if you, you can't, uh, and this is actually physically stimulating to the lungs. Okay, so let's do that together. And the last sound for the lung and large intestine system is song. We'll do that a little quieter and a little shorter. Okay, so inhale together. So. Inhale. So. Inhale. 
again. So being with your lungs. Just observing. And now releasing your ring finger and just placing your hands over the lower abdomen, one hand clasping the wrist of the other hand. Noticing this openness, this clarity. Grounding your energy into the lower dantian, but feeling the support and the unity of the heart center, the middle dantian, and the wisdom center, upper dantian. Visualizing that white light shining down from above, uniting mind, heart, and body. And smiling at the wonder of the strong energy flowing together. Opening your internal energy, bringing new vitality to all your tissues and organ systems. Feeling this aliveness, this spark of life. May all your energies flow freely. May all your heart's intentions be fulfilled. And bringing your hands together in prayer position. Together, we dedicate this healing practice to the highest good of all life, to the chi field, the masters and teachers who came before us, our fellow practitioners, our friends and families, and to ourselves. All is well unconditionally and getting better and better. So be it. Amen. Hala. And coming back into this room, moving your fingers, moving your toes, your body. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. And we'll close with our Allah blessing. If you would like to switch to gallery view and if you'd like to unmute yourself, so. I took you guys over a little bit long today, so I appreciate you uh, staying with me. <laughs> and let's tell you, Jennifer, yeah, I've got some nice to see you all. Marissa, wow, okay, great, great to see you all today. Okay, so let's just do our hala blessing over each other. Hala, all is well unconditionally. Okay, so together. Hala. Ah, la. Ah, la. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Let me know how you like the new practices. And uh, uh, any questions, just 
shoot me an email. I'll be happy to have a have a, any questions I can answer. And so have a great weekend and hope to see you all Monday. Okay.